Hey, what's happening, y'all? So, look, man, we got some breaking news this morning, man. The WBO has announced that Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter has been mandated to be in negotiation and within 30 days, or it's going to go to purse bid. So, you know, that's some big news, man. Um, but my hopes ain't really high, though, because it's still some unknowns in there or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if... Sean Porter gonna settle. I heard they trying to give him what a million dollars or one point five, and, and Sean Porter is a whole world champion, bro. Um, one of the biggest name, one of the biggest names at uh, one forty seven, and they got the nerve to offer this man a million dollars. I'm sure ain't that the reason why Sean Porter didn't take the fight earlier this year? Him and Kenny Porter. Kenny Porter said he came to the Bob Earl office. And Bob Irm didn't want to fight. He, he, he basically told them in so many words, he don't want to fight right now. So, now that it's months later, maybe Bob Irm changed his mind or something like that. I, I don't know. But I can't see, I can't foresee Sean taking that amount. You know what I'm saying? He might just say, fuck it. But at the same time, they might got Sean Porter by the mess because uh, Sean Porter... Ain't got no fight right now. You know what I'm saying? No big fight at that. No name. He ain't got no name. He, ain't, he Or no opportunities. I mean, yeah, he can fight Jamal James or uh, one of these other guys, but what would that do? You know, Sean Porter is the type of guy. I, I look at them as the type of guy that want, that want the big fights at this point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like they want the big fights at this point, the big opportunities, things like that. So I'm sure they would jump at the opportunity to go at the, to get the WBO belt from Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Again, that big fight and then turn around, take that belt and go unify with, you know, Earl Spence because that's who's going to win. But, you know, I'm not even going to say the winner because you know, I ain't even going to play like that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, Pacquiao finna get fucked over. So I'm not finna act like, oh, the winner of Earl Smith versus Manny Pacquiao. I mean, I, you can say it for, you know, fuck's sake just to say it. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Sean Porter got a big opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to get this belt and do his thing, you know, and then go unify or whatever. But it's the thing, though. Shit, will will Terrence Crawford even accept this shit? Because I know he ain't got no choice in all that, but I see one way out this shit. One way. One way out this uh, mandatory. And we all know that unifications trump mandatories. They got 30 days to go into negotiations with Sean Porter. Earl Spence fight is in 29 days from now. You can wait, right, to the absolutely last minute, right? You don't need long to say you went to negotiations with Earl Spence. All you got to say is, hey, we, we 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 in negotiations. I'm sure they can tell the WBO and them that, and they'll shut the fuck up with this Sean Porter shit. Then, you know what I'm saying, because Terrence Crawford, I look at it like this. Terrence Crawford ain't in no control right now. You know what I'm saying? He ain't in no control right now because if he was, he'll be doing something else. He ain't in no control right now. So we got to talk about Bob Earl a little bit too. Bob Earl. Would Bob Earl rather risk Terrence Crawford losing versus Sean Porter for a little or nothing, right? Or do he just want to go on ahead and cash in versus, you know what I'm saying, Earl Spence? Or would he rather, you know what I'm saying, risk? Because both of them are risk, don't get me wrong, but Bob Earl don't really give a fuck about Terrence Crawford at this point. You know, he, you know we're going to cut this shit. He don't really care about this nigga, man. He don't even give a fuck if he leave and stay or not in October. So, do you want to cash in? For the millions of dollars in Beverly Beverly Hill houses that you says you lost out on, fucking around with Terrence Crawford, and finally get uh, at least most of that back, if not all that back, and plus more, 
you know what I'm saying, unifying with Earl Spence, or do you want to lose more money? Because that's what you're going to do versus Sean Porter, because we ain't going to act like that's a huge fight or something like that. It's a nice fight. I'll pay for it. Me personally, I'll pay for that shit. Without a doubt. And I know a lot of other niggas will too, but it ain't going to be that, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be like that. It ain't going to be to the, uh, they ain't going to live up to the Earl versus Manny Pacquiao shit. Hell no. No, it's not. So, I look at, that's how I look at it. Like, Terrence Crawford back is in the, against the wall. Is he going to either fight Sean, right? Or, unify with Earl because unification is Trump mandatory, remember? So, that's your only way out. You know what I'm saying? Because they say you do go into negotiations with Sean Porter, right? You can easily pull out that shit to go into negotiations with Earl Spence. Because Earl Spence pulled out of the, un- the uh, negotiation with Uga and fought Manny Pacquiao. So, I can see that happen. You know what I'm saying? Just to shut them the fuck up. Go into unification like you're going to fight Sean. And if everything work out with Earl Spence, boom. Finally, you get to fight with... You, you and Earl Spence get to fight. Then there we go. Other than that, I don't really know what's going to happen. Because we all know, man, a lot a lot of us like men right and all, but this shit is very unpredictable. Because I ain't never see Manny Pacquiao finally fighting Earl Spence. I did not foresee that. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't see them mandating this shit. Because Sean Porter been... Terrence Crawford number one mandatory for what all this year bro he been his mandatory they could have been for Sean caught COVID or whatever COVID 19 and, and Terrence Crawford and Bob Ram didn't want to pay that nigga so I don't know what's gonna happen I ain't finna act like I do cause <laughs> I ain't with that shit, man. We gonna see, man. Well, I'm gonna let this shit play out a little, man. I just wanna bring the breaking news to y'all. I'm sure y'all probably already heard it already. If not, I'm giving it to everybody. Uh, and giving my opinion, man. Uh, because let's say you wanna be greedy, right? Fight Sean first. Then fight Earl. You might just lose. Who, 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 who? Bob Earl ain't that confident that that Terrence Crawford gonna beat Sean uh, Sean Porter. Bob Earl ain't that confident. I don't want to talk about the fans because because a lot of fans really think you gonna lose that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go for Terrence Crawford for just for the fuck's sake. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to see Earl be the one to get him in the L. That's my only reason for going for him. But Sean, I don't know, bro. <laughs> because if he come in. On that shit that he was with, with Earl Spence, he going to beat you. I hope not, but I'm just saying. He going to beat him. And it's going to be what it's going to be. But we going to see, man. I'm going to wait till this shit play out. So y'all hit that like button. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. If you ain't subscribed already, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Is this smarter? Is this smarter to... Because remember, it's ironic that Earl Spence versus Manny Pacquiao fight is in 29 days. And WBO is mandating this shit to be in negotiation between Sean and, and Bud in 30 days. So, it, would it be smarter to wait the 30 days out, go into negotiations with, with uh, Earl Spence after the Manny Pacquiao fight? Boom. To where you, they say fuck Sean. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Because if Earl Spence go up to 154, ain't, ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get that bag. And you ain't gonna win that belt either. You might win it for somebody else. Or those belts from somebody else, but you ain't gonna win it versus the guy nobody thought you could, you, you could win it against. Except for the three of your fans. I'm just saying, I believe it's smarter to just wait this shit up and boom. And I think Bob Earl would think that's smarter too. But maybe Bob Bob Earl is at his point where he like, fuck you. Put that nigga in there, Sean. And it is what it is. 
lose the bid on purpose, let somebody else get the bid, let Sean fight on somebody else's platform, Sean and Bud fight on somebody else's uh, platform this year, maybe in October, November, and then make Earl Spence fight in January, February. If Earl Spence willing to see, it's just too many questions, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already. I'm out, y'all deuces.